My name is Randall Resley. I'm the Vice President of Applications Engineering here at DigiKey. DigiKey is constantly on the lookout for new devices, new technologies, new suppliers to allow you to design the most modern products you can. And I have a couple today that are pretty impressive. One of these is from uh, Microchip. And um, people don't realize that there's all kinds of talk about 32-bit microprocessors and, and the big ones, but it turns out 8-bit microprocessors are sold at a ratio of 3 to 1. So in other words, there are many more 8-bit applications out there than there are 32-bit. You know, when you get a 32-bit processor, you've got uh, uh, big operating systems to deal with and things like that. But what this allows you to do is to use um, uh, very traditional 8-bit uh, microprocessors for microchip. There's a part that's plugged into this kit but if you pull this out, there's a 28 socket uh, pin underneath there. And so what it allows you to do is to get at all of the pins of the microprocessor. It's programmed from a USB port, which makes it very easy to develop. It's programmed in C from MP Lab, which is what Microchip offers as their integrated development environment. But what's really slick about this high pin count, that's the HPC uh, development board that I'm holding here, and it's got a rheostat potentiometer, it's got a couple buttons so you can uh, test your code easily, but it also happens to have two of these microelectronica click boards. And so we just happen to have a couple of them here. There are hundreds of different kinds of boards. If you want to design an IoT product of your own, uh, odds are you don't have to do any circuit board development to yourself. So here we've got a temperature sensor. So you would simply plug it in and we've got a little prototype board. Again, there are hundreds of varieties of these things. So uh, it's quite easy to uh, build out whatever system you'd want. So you go ahead and plug this on and so you can prototype and uh, make your own little board without touching a soldering iron at all. So this is pretty slick from Microchip and uh, making good use of Microelectronica's click boards. Now this other product I have is uh, really a special uh, instrument. Uh, it turns out this is from Analog Devices. It's the ADALM Pluto board. And uh, what this is is a radio transceiver. It's got a tremendously wide uh, bandwidth, so it's, uh, I think it's 328 megahertz to 3 gigahertz. And uh, inside here is an FPGA uh, that happens to have an ARM processor on it. So this thing runs Linux. You hook it up to your PC over USB, and what you've got in this is a transmitter and receiver that allows you to develop any code on your PC, upload to this, and it'll transmit, and then you can receive to confirm that it works. You could have another one uh, in another room and transmit over to it to confirm your, whether your waveform works. So basically, you could develop any kind of waveform that you'd like. Now, I happen to have a USA radio spectrum chart here, and what I'm going to do is to take a highlighter, take a highlighter and just show you how much of the radio spectrum we cover here. So this is the entire U.S. radio frequency allocation from 3 kilohertz to 300 gigahertz. What this radio covers is everything from FM all the way down here. This is 327 megahertz all the way up to 3, point, uh, to 3 gigahertz. So that covers a tremendous base of the uh, U.S. radio spectrum. Thank you for watching.